um, after a few more questions. Do you think like you're very reflective on your Dancing with the Stars time, but I think it's great. Like you can step out of yourself and say, you know, it all worked out, but you you have like a, like you're self-aware. And, you know, I think everyone from Dancing with the Stars has their own narrative on like what the show was to them. Like, do you think, cause like Cheryl Burke, she was on this podcast a while ago. Like she gets so much criticism for her own podcast where she's just, you know, talking about her own experience people are always saying you know she's putting the show down how many like did, did she do how many seasons did cheryl Berg do i don't know off the top of my head but quite a few well, probably like 31 30 yeah. something like that right did she like leave a couple of years ago yeah. only and uh and and you know she's done everything ever since she's, i don't think she's ever taken a break or whatever you think that all she has about the show is just negative stuff you know uh, you think that she's all she talks about, like she get, you know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. did it for so long and the only foundation for your conversation is negativity. The only people you get on your show are those who were wrong or feel like they were wronged and they're there to express their wrongness or whatever, you know? I also did a show. I had I known that that was the pro, the, the the topic, not the topic, but her, her direction. I would never do it because I don't want to be a part of that. I don't want to be a part of that. So we're reflecting, right? But my reflections always come around to, yes, I stand by me, and you know, I love me. You know, I really do. I really do. I I don't like a lot of things about me, but I really. Am my friend, like I, I, I wish best for me, right? And as part of that growth, you know, looking back and like you said, reflecting on it, right? I think that Cheryl needed to sit back and reflect on her stuff, you know, instead of starting a podcast that's just so vile and so dirty and so negative and so, you know, today my host, my my guest is, I don't know. Lacey Schwimmer, we haven't seen Lacey in over a decade and a half, you know, and now we're going to talk about stuff from decade and a half when Lacey was a participant, when Max could, said stuff that was completely taken out of context. And now we're going to talk and sit and just talk about that. You know that um, Cheryl's podcast comes out on Tuesday mornings. Do you know why it comes out on Tuesday mornings? Is that the day that the results come out? The because that's the day that the show was coming out. The whole of last year or last season, the show comes out on Tuesdays. <clears throat> Michelle's podcast comes out Tuesday morning. I mean, everything is just directed at, you know, I think Cheryl needs to do a lot of soul searching. She needs to do a lot of discovery, you know. You're not going to discover yourself by sitting in a puddle of old shit and you're just not going to discover yourself. You got to move on. And she hasn't. And this is the, 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 the case in point is like, you're going to carry that negativity with you. You're not, this isn't therapeutic. This isn't therapy. This is just, just, you know, gossiping and talking nonsense. And someone like me will never support her podcast again, you know, and I'm not going to support her period because I feel used by her with her guests for the most part like i kept calling my pr i'm like yo i don't understand how many podcasts will start with you know max said something about lacy this year was 20 years ago okay fine fine max did say okay max is blah 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 that you know somebody like denise Richards was on the show max was so this and that i'm like come on Really, like this is the platform you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna have to to move on. This isn't moving on. This is like I'm so negative about stuff. I'm gonna talk negative shit, and I'm gonna call it the podcast about negative stuff on Dancing with the Stars. Right? You think it's like clickbait and like this? It's all clickbait. It's there's no substance to it. You're 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 you just molding old stuff like i don't even know what the word is but you like just keep keep rewinding things like 
man, let's just move on, move on, find happiness in 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 not being a part of it. I think that's what Dancing with the Stars is difficult for a lot of pros is because they're like, you know, it's just, it's hard to move on. What do you do next? What do you do next? You know, for me, I don't know. I didn't really have to figure this out. Like I was always about what's next. You know, even when I was on the show, it was about what's next. When Cheryl was on the show, she was not about what's next. She was about being Dancing with the Stars professional for the rest of her life. And the second she did not, or she was no longer, she wanted a different position in the show. And when she didn't get it, she got super upset and came out with a podcast where she's going to be trashing the show that made her who she is. And so that to me makes no sense. If anybody has a leg to stand on to talk shit, it's me, probably, you know, and I'm not taking that baton like I won that trophy. No, but I was the one who was talking, you know, when I was on, you were not. So why would you start talking when you're not on? You know what I'm saying? Like, at least I'm consistent. None of the people that were employed would, were, were ever expressing their dislike. But I did, you know, because I represented me in my purest form. I wasn't putting on a show, trying to get a rise out of someone, being negative for the sake of being negative. None of that. I was just being pure to the bone. All I did was react, respond, do, not do, say how it is, see what, you know, explain what I saw, what I'm, what, what I'm seeing, you know what I mean? So like, I was never that person. And so, you know, when you're looking at somebody like Cheryl, you're looking at somebody who should have probably been, you know, should have had a different follow-up, you know, at the and, and after you've done all of this and supposedly left on your own accord, you know, after putting putting more than 30 seasons or whatever she did to that show. Amazing, amazing. Where's the podcast that talks about all your you know, beautiful things that you got out, all the wins, all the, all the, all the, all the wins, not just the trophy wins, but the winning in life, you know, where's all of that, you know, how, how, how it made you better, stronger, smarter, more intelligent, you've gone through things, like, man, there's so much to talk about, all they talk about is some bullshit from the past, come on. Right. Like you think you could have almost worked with ABC and had whoever was voted off every week. Like it could have been a celebration of, you know, the person, you know, it, it could have gone a lot of different ways. Or not, David, or not. And maybe nobody wanted you to, to 